Libra. I don't know who needs to hear this, but your biggest flex is that you are who you say you are, okay? You are not faking shit. You don't have to fake anything. You are what you say you are, and that is your biggest flex. There's so many people out here that are putting on masks in their own houses. There's so many people out here that are putting on masks in their own relationships, let alone in the outside world. There's so many people who can't even be themselves when they by themselves. That's why they don't like being by themselves. But your biggest flex is that you are exactly who you say you are, okay? And because you are who you say you are, finally, finally, your desires have aligned with your daily routine. Number one rule in manifestation is become that which you desire, okay? You have became that which you desire. That means instead of trying to reach and reach and reach and reach and reach and reach and reach, and reach you have raised your vibration. You have raised your own vibration. So now you look attractive to the thing that you want. Now you look just like it. Now when that thing look, look, looks at you, your desire looks at you, it, it, it feels like it's looking at itself, okay? It's that, it's that level of attraction, okay? So I don't know who needs to hear this, but <laughs> your biggest flex is that you're you. That's your biggest flex. That's the thing that you can roll around with. That's what you need to get comfortable with. The fact that you are you. There are so many people that wish they had your aura. So many people wish they had your style. There's so many people that probably wish they had your confidence. There's a need for you to be happy in your own body. You'll be surprised how many people wish that they were living your life. Wish that they had the things that you had. Your man, your girl, your house, your car, your money, your clothes, okay? Don't let me keep on going. And so if you're sitting there and you don't like you, you need to look in the mirror, okay? Definitely look in the mirror because you are a sight to see. You are a sight to see, okay? I just wanted to remind y'all because I'm pretty sure y'all already know that, all right? But if you need reminding, I will always here, be here to do that. The affirmation of today is, I have a wonderful work in a wonderful way. I give wonderful service for wonderful pay. Let's say that together four times. I have a wonderful work in a wonderful way. I give wonderful service for wonderful pay. I have a wonderful work in a wonderful way. I give wonderful service for wonderful pay. I have a wonderful work in a wonderful way. I give wonderful service for wonderful pay. I have a wonderful work in a wonderful way. I give wonderful service for wonderful pay. All right. All right. That is the end of our weekly affirmations because the key to manifest manifestation is repetition. That is the key. The key, the key, the key, the keys. I got the keys, the keys, the keys. Somebody got the keys to the future. The keys to the future is in your, it's in your, own. Oh, it's in your hands. Wow. I just said that and this is what a key somebody got the keys that's why that song came up i got the keys the keys the keys i got the keys the keys somebody got the keys somebody got the keys my inner child will never get used to that at all never never ever 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 never all right so we do have freeing yourself from a past hurt coming out the blessing bag Today is Friday, guys. It's Venus Day. It's our day, so be extra. Do something extra today. Do something extra today. I remember I had this, this thing where I was like, <laughs> my goal was to be extra everywhere I go, dressing-wise, for people to be like, where you going? <laughs> 
because you know it's a Libra thing, <laughs> and I definitely that was so fun that year. I need to get back to it. I've been chilling like the loungy cargoes and the you know it's just been my it's just been everything right now. Right now, at least I've been like in sweat. I just want so many sweatsuits for some reason, but somebody is um, in hoodies. Just I can't get enough. I felt like a, a a teenager that's that wears hoodies in the like ninety degrees, but it's it's time for a hoodie. So now I'm I'm letting them know the time that you post to wear. Okay, freeing yourself from a past hurt is in the blessing bag today. Okay, so you're free. For some of you guys, this 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 aligns you to your manifestations. The fact that you were still chaining yourself. Think about this. Think about yourself as energy, because you are energy. And you have not, not physical chains now. These ain't physical chains. But mentally, you have put all of this energy I'm sorry. My baby started crying in her sleep. But think, think of yourself, you have put all, chain, all, uh, like, illusion of change, bottled up all this energy over here and, and made it so that it can't move. So everything that you want is far away from you because you owe, because, because subconsciously, unconsciously, you have yourself balled up over here in this energy and you cannot move until you let yourself out of these energies. So every time you manifest, you manifest it as a year away, 10 years away. You manifest something as so, so far away from you because you placed yourself so far away from your manifestations. Not today though. Today you are free. Today, I am speaking freedom over you. Today, those chains break, dissolve. They go away. You, Matter of fact, you look down and you realize they were never there. And you love yourself a little harder for not knowing what you didn't know. You thought you really thought you were chained to that. That's why I feel like as we grow, it's kind of hard. People don't talk about this level of growth. That when we grow sometimes, sometimes we get mad at ourselves for not knowing things. Sometimes we get mad at ourselves for staying in relationships. Sometimes we get mad at, our, mad at ourselves for for um, reacting certain types of ways, okay? Well, we didn't know any better. We didn't know any better. So there's a need for you as you continue to grow and as you continue to to evolve, love yourself harder. Love yourself even more. Love that version of you that, that was ignorant, that did not know, that was just innocent, not ignorant, innocently did not know. Stop making yourself be like, stop looking at yourself as this expert that's supposed to have life figured out. There's 50 year olds that's just getting started. <laughs> That had that don't even know, okay? There's 70 year olds that tell you, like, you know, uh my grandfather is 80. 80 well, he'll be 80, 85. My grandfather is 85, okay? And he will still tell you, like, well, you know, I don't know. His favorite thing is I don't know. But my grandfather is like the strongest. I feel like he's the strongest 85 year old in the world. He still he still got his muscles on him. Um, and his number one thing that he has been, te and I've been trying to grasp since I was a little girl and I used to be a crybaby. He used to always tell me, you can't stress over things. Like since I was a little girl, we used to tell me, you cannot stress over things. If you don't have it, you don't have it. You can't get it. You can't go. You can't go. And I used to be like, but I want to go, granddad. And he'd be like, oh, yeah, well, you going to cry. But to this day, if he if he hear me venting, if he hear like you know us talking about things, he'll he'll always come in there and be like, "Listen, this is I always say this. 
No, no stress. You can't stress. You can't da, 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 like no stress, no stressors, nothing. Okay. Um, but I do feel like for, and then live life too. Live life. You got a lot of mistakes. You live this motherfucker called life. Okay. You got scars. Okay. You was having a ball. All right. You got things you regret even better. Okay. How about that? How about, how about that way to look at it? Right. You got things. Okay. You got, you got relationships that you like, wow, what was I doing? Girl, you lived life. <laughs> you live life. You came out here. You weren't playing. That's my uncle rule to life. I'ma live this, but he he reckless, y'all. I'm just be a lord, you know, be a lord, be a lord, okay. But like live life, okay. You're freeing yourself from a past hurt. Um, you are free now. Now you are in connection with your manifestations. Now you should feel, you should see energy change, you should see things changing around you. You should also feel things changing around you, okay? So let's see. I know that's the star. <laughs> Manifestation. Look at that star. Flattery. The cat indicates flattery. The cat. There is some cat that's coming to you. Some of you guys are being visited by a cat here. There's a person who Okay. So let's get into the star energy. You are the star man like you are magnetic. Um I did just go through the gypsy and and get a little read for somebody. Um but there's a person who you kind of suspected that was showing you flattery. Um, you suspected a person was showing you, was lying to you, was giving you this, this, this love, this intense love here. Um, but what's in this, this, somebody is a fierce enemy. And you know, one thing about an enemy is, um, they're close to us. It ain't nobody you don't know. It ain't nobody you that don't have access to you. This person has access to you. I don't know what happens. Maybe you free yourself from that. Maybe this is something you always knew because it does say successful speculation. So you speculated it. You speculated something. And um, you're right. So I'm just telling you that you are right. All right? I'm going into... Oh, yeah, before I get to there... Let me go into to get the tarot energy. What is the tarot energy for Libra? Thank you, thank you, thank you. The Nine of Pentacles, flourishing, fulfillment, and finances. Doing good, like like when I tell you you're good, like somebody is is good, good when it comes to finances, money, contentment how you feel about yourself, like you are all the way good. And is that how you free yourself from a past hurt? Being all the way good with where you are, looking at yourself like, you know what, I'm going to be okay. You know what, it's going to be okay. You know what, I am okay. It's okay. Like, do you have to remind yourself that? Because it's okay. A lot of the things that we kind of um, ponder on, they are in the past. They are past memories. You sit yourself in the present moment. You're like, I'm good. I'm more than good. You know, I'm all right. I'm okay. I feel like that's that energy. This is this, this is this reassurance. But somebody is also dressing very, very luxurious. Buying them something very expensive. You got it. Someone is treating themselves. Definitely. Treat yourself. You deserve it. Definitely deserve it. All right, let's see. What is the morning inspo for Libra? My nail hurts. Why does my nail hurt? <sighs> Look at you. How you see yourself is the sun. You see yourself as the sun. Painting. The happiness back into your life. 
without anybody's permission but your own. That is how you see yourself, okay? You see yourself as, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm making my, my happiness a priority. That's how you see yourself. How the world sees you as the witch. Justice is coming. The lioness that has earned all her stripes. Okay? There's a need for you to focus on the now. Focus on the here and now, a message. But karma. You are the one that brings in the karma. The justice sees you as a person who has been facing injustice. And justice is finally coming towards you. That's how the universe sees you. Like finally, you've been facing some type of injustice and now justice is coming right to you. Okay? Ooh. All right, message from spirit is endings are inevitable. Let them go. Let them go and something lovely will grow. Let them go and something lovely will grow. You got this evil queen. You don't deserve that shh. You don't deserve that. You deserve sugar, not salt. Somebody is giving you, trying to mask. They're they they they're making it say, I told you it's like flattery. So you really love this person. So you're not flattering this person. You're actually giving them love. But what they're giving you back to is kind of like flattery. They're saying all the things and all of that stuff. But they really don't mean it. They really are an evil queen. And you deserve so much better. So much more. Okay. The opportunity that you have today is you have an opportunity to know all the answers. The opportunity that you have right now is the fact that you have all the answers for it like you have you were given a map for something you were actually given out a game plan maybe you made a plan maybe you made something that is actually your map somebody made some type of recipe this could be a recipe you could be a cook okay you could be a cook but there is a recipe to something and the fact that you are the make the fact that you have it in your possession like you have all the answers that is the opportunity. You can actually create the opportunity because you have the answers right now. Um, there's a need for you to come home to yourself. There's a need for you to start start a revolution. There's something that you have. For some of you guys, there's ideas that you have, okay? Um, you have all the answers. This is yours. So you have the map. You know where it's going because it's yours. Some of you guys, you have an actual recipe that you're working on, something like that. For some of you guys, you have just, like, you have a game plan. Follow that game plan. Like, the fact that you have the actual map in your possession, that, that brings, that's an opportunity in itself. All right, let's see. Challenge that you're going to have is releasing your guilt. Ooh. Release your guilt. Treat your body like a palace. That means when you are guilty, when you feel guilt, you may eat it, you may smoke it, you may drink it. You have some other unhealthy coping mechanisms that you use with guilt. It's guilt. You may you may be calling it something else, but it's some type of guilt that you feel. All right, so there is, and I feel like freeing yourself. Are you guilty that you didn't know? Are you guilty that you... That you felt like you should have known better? Do you feel like guilty? Like for some of us, we do. We don't really talk about that when we go go through here. And we just talk about, oh, I'm free. But then you look at your, your your past self like, I don't like them because they put me in that situation. That's getting real, real. That's some real shadow work. That's being very, very honest with yourself. I don't like that version of me. Right now, I don't respect that version of me. I don't, it's, it's, it's like a, a part of yourself. And then a lot of us, we try to, we try to be something that is, we see it all the time. People who kind of reinvent themselves and they be something totally different from that version of them because they really don't like that version of themselves. Instead of giving that version of themselves grace because that version of themselves didn't know. Okay. 
They didn't know. They had no idea what it would feel like on this side of the fence. They thought this was the best that it would get or that they could get. So they made do with where they were. Your, I'm pretty sure if your, your, your old, the old version of yourself knew a taste of this newness, you're not stupid, okay? Nobody wants to suffer. Nobody wants to be hurt. Nobody wants to be in certain... You didn't choose this circumstance like you wanted it. No matter if you've seen a red flag or not. Be gentle with yourself. Okay? Because I know a thing or two about, you know... I know a thing or two. There's a need for you to be gentle with yourself. Okay? And I don't care if you've seen 65 red flags. Okay? You be gentle with yourself. You say, come here. Okay? Yeah, you might be a dummy, but you my little dummy, okay? Like like a child, okay? Your child. You know better now. Now you can mother your child instead of disowning your child for a mistake. Release the guilt that you that you have to yourself. Release the guilt that you have for ending things with another person. Endings are inevitable. This is the message from spirit. It's going to happen. Things come to an end. It's, it's life, death, birth. Things come to an end all the time. It's going to happen. Release your guilt. There may be a friendship that's coming to an end. There may be a relationship that's coming to an end. There may be a job that's coming to an end. Release the guilt that you have. And most importantly, stop blaming yourself. There's nobody to blame. And especially not you, okay? All right, let's see. What's the advice for the day for Libra? We got two cards coming up. Relax and unplug. Oh, start a revolution. Start something. That thing you have been thinking about starting, start it now. Start it today. Start it now. Also, there's a need for you to forgive. There's a lot going on today, okay? The advice for the day is forgive a person. Relax, chill out, forgive yourself, okay? So this is self-forgiveness. Yeah, come home to yourself. Forgive yourself for the things that you did not know, okay? You do not know what you do not know. Like, that's that's so, that's like my favorite. That's going to be my favorite quote for 2024. That ain't even 2024 yet. And I'm, all, I'm just getting used to saying, you do not know what you do not know. Because why am I beating myself up for something that I don't know? And I don't know what I don't know. Like, come on now. Why am I beating myself up for something that I don't know? What's the point? All right, let's see. All right, let's go ahead and clarify. I am going to be using the Sacred Forest Oracles to clarify this message for you. All right. Tell me more about the sun for Libra. Tell me more about the sun for Libra. Patience. So you, how you see yourself is you see yourself being patient with yourself, giving yourself grace. Good for you. Good for you. Beautiful. Good for you. You see yourself as the wood nymph. Beautiful. I thought that said nymph. I was about to say, what the hell? But um, the wood nymph. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. The wise woman of the grove. The wise woman of the grove. Beautiful. You see yourself being patient with yourself. Being patient. Loving yourself. Giving yourself grace. You see yourself as a wise woman. Tell me more about the witch. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, goodness gracious. Y'all see that? The spirit guardian of summer coming out. This is how the world sees you. The world sees you that just like justice is coming for you. Look, because of your generosity, because of the more that you give out, somebody sees like because you give so much, because you give so much, you give so much like of your heart, of your love, of whatever it is that you have, you give it out. The world sees you as expansion, 
as the harvest. The world sees you as a person who's been in justice and that's now about to reap the benefits of the harvest. Reap the harvest. Reap the expansion. This is the truth. You got moonlight, enchantment, and raven truth. Also, the, 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 the universe sees you as very, 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 very powerful. Also have a willow spirit, very flexible. Oh, the, the, the universe sees you as bendable but not breakable. Strong one. We talked about that. Strong one. Strong soldier. Tell me more about Gray. Leadership. Endings are inevitable. The message from Spirit is endings are inevitable. It's time for you to leave. There's okay, so there is a phase of your life that has to come to an end. Now you're going to this new phase of leadership. Look at that passage. It's a passageway that you're going through. There's a need for you to accept. Accept this new leadership that's coming in your life. You are being activated right now. You have all the wisdom, all the beauty for it. There's a need for you to accept this new phase that goes into leadership. So that lets me know that either you weren't leading or you were following someone. Oh, yeah, you were chained to something else, someone else, something else. Endings are inevitable. Now it's time for you to lead. See that determination? It's time for you to lead your life. Tell me more about Voyage. All right? The opportunity that you have in the chaos is that you know all the answers about it. You know all the answers already about the storm. Look at that. You can find refuge. Because you know, like, it's like something happens, but this is your neck of the woods. You know exactly where to go. Something may happen, but you know exactly what, this is your neck of the woods. It'd be different if you were somewhere else, but this is your, you grew up here. You know where all the cuts at, where the streams at, where the good berries are, where not to go, okay? You know exactly what you have, all, you got the map. You, this is a mental map. It's not even in your hand. Like, you know your way around the room. The fact that is your opportunity. That's the opportunity in itself. You are the opportunity. You create the opportunity because you have the map. Chaos, chaos probably will come. Storms probably will come. Um, unfortunate things, events will probably happen. But the fact that you have this mental map, the fact that this is your neck of the woods, the fact that you know exactly where to go, where not to go, what to eat, what not to eat, what to drink, what not to drink, who to talk to, who not to talk to, this is your neck of the woods. So you know exactly what to do here. All right? You're free. This is what makes you free. Stop acting like you don't know. <laughs> how we go, how, how we still have this thing like, you don't know what you don't know. And then I come in and I say, stop acting like you don't know. <laughs> like, can I get a break, please? <laughs> okay? Stop acting like you don't know that you have all the, that you have the answers in this situation. There's an opportunity that you have. There's something you've been training for for lifetimes. Family. Tell me more about release. No, Clover. Knowledge. Air spirit. Use your air spirit. It's going to be challenging for you to release your guilt to something because you know a lot about something. Oh, so when knowledge, this is this is kind of giving me like a, a message about knowledge. This is what spirit is telling me something about knowledge. It's like, yeah, you have you have you have the knowledge now. Make sure you be gentle with the with the parts of yourself that didn't have it in the past, okay? But now you have this knowledge and the fact that you have some type of knowledge, the fact that you know for sure what something is, it could be hard for you to release guilt. It could be hard for you to, to release blame. It could be hard for you to release a lot of things. And also your knowledge, the 
the fact that you should have known or you should have da-da-da, that could also be hard for you too. Somebody might be like a speaker or a healer or something like that and you find yourself going through, you know, human problems. I know, right? <laughs> might be a light worker and you're like, why am I dealing with this human stuff? Me, Even me, even me, even me, me too. Somebody is like, yo, you are not... You can't outsmart life, all right? Can't they can't outsmart that? Tell me more about protests. Tell me more about protests. Freedom. Freedom. Your advice for today is freedom. Protest. All right. We do have freedom. Start a freedom protest. Free yourself. Start a revolution. Power. Love. Fire, spirit, energy, focus, um, power, magic. There's a need for you to free yourself. Start a revolution of freedom. It's almost giving me hurry Tubman vibes or something. There's so many other people you can take with you. There's so many people who needs to hear. There's so many people who needs to free themselves. So many people needs to be free. There's somebody who needs to hear your story. Somebody needs to hear it. Tell me more about Tower. Playfulness, the elves. Chill out, relax, and have fun. <laughs> we can all do a little bit more of that, can't we? Secret spring of success. There's a secret spring of water and manifesting your dreams. This spring, I told y'all y'all manifesting right now because you're just in a different energy field. And in this energy field, you get exactly what it is that you want, okay? So that is your reading. Also, let your inner child come out. That's your reading. I hope this reading resonates with you. If it does, make sure you give this reading a big thumbs up and make sure you guys are subscribed. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video.